Hello everybody, uh, this is Ken Soto. Today is April 9th, no, 17th, 9th, 2019th. Um, I'm in the Sendai, Japan. Um, I was visiting my hometown for my sister's wedding. Um, it was a beautiful wedding. Uh, and it's great weather for now. It's just, you know, the sakura, so great season for sakura. Uh, today's topic is uh, decoupling Bitcoin and rest of crypto currencies. Um, so I think this is kind of the like beginning of, uh, of decoupling of Bitcoin, Bitcoin SB, to rest of crypto industries in a way. You know, um, if you're following really close about this uh, industry, you know that the uh, Binance just uh, announced it to delist the Bitcoin SB uh, for some reason. Um, I, I have a lot of opinion about it, but uh, it's it's kind of like a amateurish way they decide things and uh, this is reminds me how Roger Beer decide to back Bitcoin A ABC before Bitcoin SB you know this, the hash what happens and then ultimately that decision made Bitcoin uh, cash you know spread to two camps um, but you know I'm not criticizing anybody here uh, that I'm just talking about and similarities and you know trying to analyze the situations um, so I think the reason while well, just reading tweeters um, it seems like the uh, uh, CZ, the CEO of Binance, are angry about, uh, you know, CSW is suing uh, one of the tro uh, trolls on the Twitter about his, you know, uh, yeah, I guess, for for some reason, I guess, because they troll somebody and then just keep bad mouth. And they basically also, that troll, basically asked him to sue. So he sues. <laughs> I, I, I think, I, I think we got to, uh, first of all, I don't know the best way how we handled, you know, trolls in, on the internet. And I don't have one because I'm not that big famous guy or anything and but uh, you know I don't know suing them is the best way for you know combating this kind of you know you know, trolls right it's kind of annoying right there's so many of them especially for crypto world and politics I guess and I don't know why people are so angry about it but I mean, I mean just but we got a little think about what we do on the internet, right? Internet become like very like everyday life, and you know it's become very mm, normal things to say something on Twitter's or Facebook or whatever it is, right? I do too, right? I I I I do heated discussion on. Twitters and I have done many times like on the Facebook with fighting with my friends about politics and stuff like that so I understand you know everybody get passionate about it for something and you know you want to fight for it but uh, that is a little different than just um, like actively troll attacking somebody for without like you know criticizing something or saying wrong things intentionally or not clear not sure things like some stuff are not sure right so people are obsessed about who is Satoshi Nakamoto and I tell you one thing you won't 
know who is Satoshi Nakamoto forever. Right? This is for good reason for that. That、like、you are going to suspect maybe it might, right? In the future, you might think probably that guy was Satoshi or this guy is Satoshi or that lady or who, whoever, you know, that group of people, whatever it is.、Uh, but you won't know for sure. Do you know why? Because Bitcoin is not everything public, right? I mean, for good reason, right? I mean, we.、Uh, This is not a nominal system, right? So there's some evidence of Satoshi exists, right? <laughs> In a way, right? But it's a.、Uh, what's the word?、Um, it's d o n o m y yeah. I mean, Bitcoin is d o n o m y right? That's a word, I guess. Like, you just,、mm, you just know the character, but you don't know the. Personality in the base guy, right? So there's a character of Satoshi Nakamoto is there, but you won't know you won't know who is a Satoshi, right? You can't really see it, and then probably you won't know. <laughs> so you should not obsess something you don't know, right? Because that's not productive.、Uh, and then something I want to You know, we have to be very careful what we say on the internet in a way because this is very new things. Like, I'm talking on the camera If, right now, it's like nobody inside, you know, in this park, nobody here. You know, I just see. Okay, I'm talking myself here, but this video is going to be, you know, seen by, you know, This video are going, you know, like hundreds of people are going to see this video. This is new. This is new for the world, right? So,、um, this is a new technology. And then, you know, I'm sending full 4K video onto the, you know, YouTube. This is new things. So, and all, as a human, you know, we don't know how to deal with this yet. We haven't figured out proper manners, right? How we should talk on Facebook or Twitter. We don't know, okay? And we don't know what's the best way. Uh, so, um, you know, we should not actively go i n g to be trolled, right? I mean, like, what, what, why? I mean, what are you doing? Like, do, do you don't have anything else to do in your life? Right? I mean, Like, I'm sure you have something, right? You have some good abilities, and then you know, you have to use that abilities, not rather like just telling somebody, like, oh, you're, you're shit, kind of things like that. I mean, how good it is. I mean, think about it, you know? You, you won't know who is Satoshi, right? Maybe CS, CSW is Satoshi, maybe not. Who knows? Right? Might be lucky, maybe no, right? You become friends of CSW, maybe te- they, you know, he t e l l you, he s h o w you proof. I don't know. But probably you won't know, right? Okay? So you should admit that and just <laughs> act from there, right? You don't know. You don't know for sure. So you don't know if he is Satoshi or he is not Satoshi. Why just don't? I don't mean that, and just everything's easy because you don't need to make a decision for it. You don't know, right? You suspect, well, that's fine. You should say, you know, if you suspect that, you should say, I suspect he is not Satoshi, right? That's, that's, that's you suspect, that's fine. But if you say he's Raya, that's, that's, you don't know, right? What is a fact? What is not a fact? Right? You don't know. You think, or I suspect he is lying. That's very different. Right? It's, you, have your, you, know, you, have, and you are entitled for your opinions, but how you form your message or your 
statements are very important and then that has different meaning for different people and we have to be very careful because we, we are the one who are managing or we trying to make the information network right that we are the one we are we are the and we are responsible for this new technologies blockchain right this is this this is going to be better than current internet and it's probably much easier for us to find out you know definitive information but still like it's not going to be everything public it's not going to be everything clear right because we should not right I should not tell you or well, you should not know or well, you should not you should not ask me how much money I have in my pocket right or my bank account I don't ask you that you know that's 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 in pride and some people don't want to tell you how much money you have they have so I mean that's that's in a way common sense right and it's kind that kind kind that kind of common sense uh, or manner is going to be more important in the future because see we can know a lot of things in this world now right it but uh, uh, right I mean just talking I'm just talking here myself in the park just think about it just think about it just think about it in my one second what kind of life we are living right what kind of world we are living it's a different new world and you know in a way we have to be humble about it we don't know how to use this yet we don't know this reason why I'm talking about this is uh, the human got this kind of situation before when you know printing press become available in the world like what 400 years ago 500 years ago right before printing press it's very difficult to make a, a, a book right you have to write you have to copy and paste by hand right so it's cost a lot of money to make a book but after printing press much easier you know the cost of information went down a lot a lot a lot right so more people can access to the data and that's in that's in great right I mean we can learn more things and you know I mean that's great but you know one thing that happens after that is that the witch hunt has start, <laughs> start started right because somebody make fake information and then just spread it to everybody and at that time people didn't know what's fake or what's not fake right there's no way so after that that's why we got we tried to run more citations and scientific method right for telling what is truth not truth even though like still we have a lot of scientific like you know like it, even like scientific discovery are not necessary like um, like a repeatable right so so we we something we have to know is the um, some things are very uncertain you know it's not clear and there's a kind of like state states of things are uh, exist it's not like black and white so clear some stuff are like that but some stuff are not like that and we won't know like so see so like so like when you're th thinking like when you um, organize information in your, in your brain we have to know is okay uh, you know say the three th three things right black and white and you don't know this three at least we should at least think that way black and white you don't know black and white you don't know this three is important right uh, I mean that will help to think through I mean how you deal with information I mean 
deal with data, so many data, right? But information, it's a little different, like more, you have to be intelligent to make data to information. So information, that's something you can use for your life to make your life better. That's information. Otherwise, just shit. We got so much shit in our, you know, internet, right? Doesn't, like a lot of data doesn't really make you happy or make you rich or anything. Just make it crazy, make it crazy, make it crazy. Yeah, that. So you have to. So there's so many info data in around you, make you crazy because make you crazy and you know they, it means like you're addicted for something and you know, like Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff make you addict and not to do things. So you know addictions, addiction. So. So we have to be very careful about this kind of things. Um, well, I was talking about the listing, I mean, the decoupling, Bitcoin, and the rest of crypto, right? Ah, I see, I think I have to talk this much to just come in this point, because that's how crazy it is, right? But like, I, I think that's why we have to kind of like, kind of separate, start separating from rest of the crypto world. Because it doesn't really produce anything, right? It's it's there okay with just see, Lightning Network is not ready, right? Ethereum is not scaring, right? Private chain is not working. So <laughs> what like what what kind of value we are creating as a crypto industry, right? I mean, we spent hundreds and millions of dollars for mining. And how many people really using Bitcoin every single day? It's not useful yet. As, I, mean, as, I mean, we cannot justify the money in here, but the, the, the result or like utilities, use, you know, use, usefulness. I mean, if, if we keep doing that, if you're okay with that, and if you don't think that's dangerous, I, I think you should be that rest of crypto communities. I, I feel that's dangerous. That's that's basically the reason, you know, we already crap, you know, the prices crops, and that's the reason it's going to crop more, right? Because nothing there, not useful. Like it doesn't really giving any value to the societies. Like you know, usually. Um, new product come to the society you know we call like uh, uh death barry right like this barry it's like in the beginning you know it's like early buzz like us right it's always there and they're always like new things and they try new things so always some some small we get small you know adaptions but after that trying to be mass adaption like there's a big deep gap between that's kind of two different things and most of product cannot overcome you know they don't have a bridge to go other side of barry then that ends the product ends uh, you know crypto or bitcoin whatever it is um, are not exceptions and we are still in this small tiny adoption side and early bird people and we are not reaching this mass my mom won't use bitcoin if this is the norm right i mean like i mean what do you think why people need the bitcoin <laughs> just think about that in this situation right now so well i think this you know delisting from Binance and other crypto you know, exchanges, I think it's really good because well, I mean, all the crypto right now has no value, it's just gambling tools. Yeah, sure, Gamb gambling is important and it's a big industry too, so it's okay, but uh, now why don't you just do poker instead, right? <laughs> poker is much fun, you know, we don't need to yell them out, yell to other people, right? Uh, if that's a purpose for the Bitcoin. 
So I think we, we, BSB, Bitcoin BSB side, that's gonna go on the other side. We're gonna try to pass and in order to do that, actually it's good to think it's not dealing, dealing with this crypto, crazy crypto people anymore, unfortunately. I like many of them, but it's kind of wasting time. We won't get anything from there. So, you know, that's fine. And, you know, people like Jack Liu making a new exchange, you know, basically Bitcoin SB and just all the other, you know, um, like a real asset, like a fear backed, you know, current, uh, token stuff like that. Right? That's all we need. I mean, if we have like a crypt, you know, fear backed token, you know, which I try to make, you know, yen, yen token I try to make, but uh, <laughs> then like that's all you need, right? If because you have a yen, if you live in Japan, and you can send it to the exchange, where you can buy Bitcoin SB if you need it. That's all you need. Why we need buy Bitcoin? Bitcoin, Japanese yen to Bitcoin, Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SB is like why you have to do this when you can do yen yen token and Bitcoin SB right yen token is yen so we don't need to waste the time for that um, you know in that case we don't need to worry about volatilities you can decide you can just have a Bitcoin SB or a yen or US dollar, right? Or gold or silver. I think that's good enough or real estate, right? Um, I don't see any other reason we need as a cryptocurrency in a way. It's not that that useful. Um, so I think it's good things. It takes time. We are going to, you know, price wise, we're going to recover from it. But uh, uh, maybe a good time to buy more. You know, it's a little difficult to buy now, but yeah, you know, we can we can still buy it. So we just need a fear gateway. We need a fear gateway. If we can have a fear gateway, we don't need to worry about any other crypto currency exchanges, which is gambling site. And we don't need to depend on the, this gambling sites. I'm not, nothing wrong with gambling sites, but I'd rather play poker, I'd rather play blackjack, right? I'd rather play margin, right? That's fun. <laughs> Why not? Right? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, many people already use FX. What's the difference? So. <laughs> yeah, we need to kind of decoupling from this craziness. Alright, talk you later. Bye.